Let us talk about the second type of index that is bitmap index. Now we know when the number of distinct values in a column is more, we can use the beta index. But what if the number of distinct values in a column is less? In such cases, beta index will take a lot of time and the solution is to use the bitmap index. For example, the gender column in the employees table has two distinct values, that is male and female. And if we consider an example of employees table having 100 rows, then 50% can be male and 50% can be female. And if I fire a query, say select star from employees, where gender is equal to F or gender is equal to M, it is going to qualify for 50% of the table rows. And if we use a B-tree index in such case, it is going to take time. And using a bitmap index in such cases will prove to be beneficial. Now bitmap index like a Petri index can be a simple index or also a composite index. Now how does the bitmap index actually works? So Oracle will first convert the row IDs of the indexed values into bitmaps. So bitmaps are basically zeros and ones. And once these bitmaps are created and an OR operation is being performed on these indexed values. After these operations, the resulting bitmaps are again converted back into the row ID to fetch the associated row. We'll talk about how this actually works in the forthcoming slide using a couple of examples. Some of the advantages of bitmap index are multiple columns can be bitmapped and an odd, and they are used in case of a data warehouse operations. Because in data warehouse operation, large data sets are being put. One beautiful advantage of bitmap index is that the null values can also be included in the indexed column, which is not possible in case of a B3 index. Also, it consumes less space than that of a B3 index. Now let's see the working of a bitmap index with this example. If we fire a query, say select employee ID from employees where gender is equal to F, and if we have created a bitmap index on the gender column, then each row value of the gender column will be bitmapped as one if the value is female. For example, if the first row of the gender column is F, then it is bitmapped as one. In this case, second row is also bitmapped as one. That means the second row is also gender is equal to F, third and fourth and so on. If you see the fifth row, this is not having the value gender is equal to F and hence it is bitmapped as zeros. You can see such zeros across. And then when we fire this query, select employees from employees where gender is equal to F, only the ones will be retrieved and the associated row IDs can be fetched. Similarly, when we execute select employee ID from employees where gender is equal to M, all the row values where gender is equal to M will be bitmapped as one. So these are the row values which are bitmapped as one. That means the gender is equal to M is the value here and all the other values, whether it is a null, whether it is F or any random value will be bitmapped as zeros. And when this query is executed, only the ones will be picked up and the zeros will be discarded. The bitmapped ones which are being picked will be converted back into the row IDs to fetch the associated row values. Let's take a look at one more example. In this case, I have created a B3 index on the gender column and also on the higher date column. Now let's see it's working when I fire this select statement, select employee ID from employees, where gender is equal to F and higher date is greater than sys state minus 365. So what happens in this case is each row value where gender is equal to F will be bitmapped as ones and the rest will be bitmapped as zeros. Similarly, all the row values whose higher date is greater than sys state minus 365 will be bitmapped as ones and the rest non-qualifying will be bitmapped as zeros. And on this bitmap data sets and operation is being performed, that is one and one is equal to one, one and zero is equal to zero and so on. And at the end, only the ones will be picked up and they are converted back into the row IDs and fetch the associated rows.